What we do is we train aviation mechanics. In the late 1920s, Orville Wright opened the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. And we train them to work on all types of aircraft, from the little puddle jumpers the whole way up to the big 747s, 777s. Nearly a century later, despite decades of engineering advances, the aviation industry now faces a shortage of people who fix planes. You may not get the 1.2 volts. A lot of people are getting about 1.4 volts, mm -hmm. which is OK. Here on the Institute's Hagerstown, Maryland campus. See how the voltage comes up? The next generation of aircraft techs are learning the critical skills needed to become a key cog in the hub of transportation safety. Without question, uh, maintenance techs are the unsung heroes of the industry. But those heroes need replacements. According to industry data, 38% of aircraft mechanics are at or near retirement, which means the profession will need some 125,000 new mechanics over the next 20 years to keep planes airborne and flyers safe. Uh, the baby boomers, we're retiring now, and there is a shortage of airplane mechanics. Butch Adams runs the Hagerstown campus. The employers are just hiring uh, left and right. Close to 200 zero as possible. Then. Serendipity arrived right on time. I refer to it as the shock and awe. In the last few weeks alone, students have watched in wonder as two new teaching tools rolled in. This is a King Air. But not just any King Air. This modern aircraft was deployed in undisclosed covert operations and reconnaissance missions before purchased by the school. All the bells and whistles that the military put on to uh, secure our borders or whatever they did with it, uh, was taken off. The second surprise? On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 10, probably an 11. Delta donated this Boeing 727 engine, among the most used and influential motors in aviation history. Yeah, that, that's a beast. Enjoying these modern marvels to untraditional students. At being able to work hands-on with the real stuff definitely puts you above many other students. Troy Stanton's fascination with the inner workings of planes began in childhood. When his son Garrett completed this very program last year, Troy switched careers to follow in his son's footsteps. Of all the things that I have done and could be doing, this is without question my first best destiny. It is a big change of career. Uh, software engineer to airplane mechanic is a bit of a shuffle. And then there's Zach Duncan, who went from diagnosing phone flaws to fixing fan blades. He couldn't be happier. I've always loved aircraft. I've always loved the fact that we can put something so huge into the sky and we can keep it there somehow, safely. It's 0.69, right? 0.68. Oh, 0.68, okay. Career paths like the arc of flight can take time to reach cruising altitude. And with more passengers flying than ever and an aircraft mechanic shortage on the horizon, the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics is inspiring students from varied backgrounds to try this public safety profession. I'm constantly reminded that every rule in aviation was written in somebody's blood. And that's not something we take lightly. I'm Jay Korf for 7 News.